cool. First one of them for the year. This right here is why I dig. Holy cow. This is a coin. everybody welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. In this episode I went back out at it metal detecting once again. Uh, I actually went back to the same exact spot my friend Jeremiah's yard and I found some more really cool historical finds. In fact one of them I didn't I mean I thought it was cool but you'll see it was a lot cooler when I found out really the history behind it but yeah, it was really cool. Had a lot of fun. I'm definitely going back. There is a lot more for me to dig up. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you have anything you'd like to see. Stay tuned. Hmm. Yeah, not sure on this one, but it's got a got some writing on it. Huh. Yeah, that one could be cool. Yeah, see, like I said, guys, I can't. Toothbrush wouldn't do me any good here. Because this is clay. <laughs> this stuff does not come off very easy. Something flakes. Ivory flakes. I don't know. That's very neat, though. That's a cool piece. Clean it up better at home. that something I always love finding spoons this is a little kid's spoon here look at that that's cute got a flower on it still pretty shiny too so she might be silver Thank you. 
It says Tudor plate. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. But that might be silver plate. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. It's an uh, Oneida. Yeah, very cool. be an old pen cap not sure on that one maybe a makeup that could be a lipstick container might know more when I get her cleaned up tell you what that pin pointer is such a great tool guys my buddy Matt Butterson hooked me up with one when a while back when I first started my YouTubes and I'm so grateful. Yeah, this might be a coin being that shallow. tearing into stuff like this but the coins are usually up in the grass <laughs> nope darn bullet casing dropped it too there it is just a 22 I think this is something big. <laughs> yep. I've dug those before. I still don't know what they are. <laughs> Just dug up this old car handle or truck handle or something. Just never know what's going to be laying in your yard, guys. This looks interesting. Oh, it's an old lighter, I think. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, I think it's an old lighter. I don't know, I'll have to sure looks like it. I'll have to carefully clean it up when I get home. I don't want to mess it up too bad, but that sure looks neat. Maybe for a bell, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's it. Yep. Finally getting a solid reading instead of a bunch of broken ones.
that's it. It almost looks like a piece of horseshoe. All right, I had to swap out the batteries, but uh, this hole here, I dug up something pretty weird. Never dug up one of these before, but big old hunk of lead. Big hunk. <laughs> really don't know what that'd be for. Unless it was a little anchor, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right, everybody, here's a look at today's finds. This I actually thought was just a paint lid or something, but I'm not sure now. It's got a little handle. And I think it says something premium. I'm not sure. Uh, this lighter is very cool. At least I think it's supposed to be a lighter. Ooh, I think that... See, I didn't notice that till just now, guys. I think that's a Swiss Army knife thing. Or maybe Army? I'm not sure. You guys might be able to help me. That symbol looks really familiar. Very cool. And it's got that little... That's actually a match that comes out. It's hard for me to hold the phone and do it, but that'll actually slide out. So I don't know if that's what you use to light it. This was another cool find. This little kid's fork is a very neat old fork. Um, yeah, it says Tudor Plate Oneida. Yep, community. And it's got the cool flowers on it. Giant piece of lead. I'm guessing that's part of maybe an old decoy anchor. I'm not sure. Uh, pen cap, I'm guessing. Might be wrong, but... Or maybe a makeup case. Uh, not sure on that. Maybe a bell handle. Who knows? It's brass. This plate here... I haven't been able to figure it all out yet <laughs> but it's got writing on both sides and I know obviously it says Procter and Gamble on the bottom see I can see it a little better now with my phone I'm gonna have to do this a little bit and figure it out but yeah I thought that was cool and the rest is junk mostly got a cool handle guessing off of like a old car or something Maybe a truck. Don't know on that. <laughs> That's an odd, odd piece. But yeah, that's today's little bit of finds. I don't know what this is either. It's got a cool shape to it. Yep, but that's it, guys.